I'm Sebastian, and this is Mrs. Manscloth, and I'm writing Macduff. Macduff Comes Home by Rosemary Wells. Macduff's corner in the garden, just under the kitchen, where he could hear voices of the people he loved. There, Macduff relaxed and breathed in all the wonderful smell that escaped from the window. The snappy smell of Freddy's frying sausages, the velvety smell of Lucy's vanilla rice pudding. One day, the meadow, the window was closed. There was nothing to smell or hear. Suddenly, Macduff saw something move in a neighbor's garden. It was a fat rabbit. Zzzz, went the rabbit through the zzz, zzz, India's. Macduff squeezed through the fence after it. Zzz, his collar and tag caught the fence. Snap! Went his collar. It fell behind off him. The rabbit zigzagged over the neighbor's lawn. He whizzed across the street. Macduff zigzagged and whizzed too. Over hills and streets and flower beds, the rabbit scurried and skedaddled with Macduff right on his tail until he f it found a hole and shot in Macduff could not follow. Macduff was too so tired from chasing the rabbit that lay down in someone's vegetable garden and fell asleep. When Macduff woke up, he looked around. He could see he could not see his kitchen window. He could not smell sausages or vanilla rice pudding. He could not hear any voices he knew. Miss Higgins came out to weed her garden. Who's that under my eggplant, she asked. Mr. Higgins looked for McDuff's collar and tagged and could not find them. We will go to the police station, she said, and see if anyone is there to pick you up. Miss Higgins drove Macduff up Main Street and down Pine Road over the bridge. Oak Lane suddenly Macduff smelled vanilla rice pudding. Woof! said Macduff. Miss Higgins turned left. Then Macduff heard someone he loved calling his name. Woof! said Macduff. She turned right. Then he saw his own house in Navarre's 7 Elm Road. Lucy and Fred were calling for him. Woof, 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 he said, and Miss Higgins stopped. His collar is gone, said Lucy. How did you know where to bring him? I guess I understand dog language, she said. Everyone was hungry. Lucy made some apple pie and sandwiches. Fred gave Macduff his favorite treat, a small dish of vanilla rice pudding with sausage sliced on top. This book is Macduff Comes Home and um, he smells and he sees I mean, he smells um, all the flowers, and he hears um, um, he's, he, all the people that loved him. Um, and then he saw something zoom in the fence. Then he ch chased after it, and he saw it was a rabbit, and he chased so far. And there was a rabbit, and he saw a hole, and he jumped in it, and he... And he took a nap because he was so tired. 
then makes someone um, came up to him and he said, Oh, you must come from somewhere. I'll take you to the police office and see if anyone's waiting for you there. Then she, she drove, then she, he smelled the sausage and he said, Woof! Then he turned right. Then um, he, he heard from real your sound and he said, Woof! And she turned right. And then um, he, he saw um, his people who loved him and he says woof 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 and then miss and then she stopped and she let him off and the people who loved him said um how'd you know where to find how'd you know who to give him to and then she said i guess i understand dog language and then they all sat down to eat something and mcduff got um Got some um, rice pudding with sausage on top. Bye.